good friend Larry Rubama, the Virginia pilot. Larry covering the south side this year for the yeah. pilot. Who is going to be the team to beat? Oscar Smith. Until somebody beats them, they're still the team to beat. They've been the defending champ the last two years. You know, they don't ever rebuild. They just reload. Until somebody knocks them off and beats the champ, they're still the team to beat. Really went out on a limb with that choice. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> who else could uh, could come up there and challenge the Tigers? You know, I, I like Ocean Lakes. They got Lafonte Thurgood. He's 22 and one as a starter. Incredible kid. Um, he's got a lot of poise. He's also got a great line with Chavez Lowry as well as Josh Mann blocking. And then they also got Reggie Owens. He's a nice playmaker both on offense and defense. If they get things going. It, I think they could be tough as well as they got a chip on the shoulder from last year when they had a four for six games. Is there a team a la Bayside of last season that could surprise some people and kind of shake up the order of things in the 757? I like Kempsville. I think they might have, I mean, they had low numbers about three or four years ago. They turned it around the last several years. They got Travis Hughes, I mean, a great running back linebacker. You know, who knows, if the, he gets going and they got some other good talent as well, uh, Mason Thomas, uh, Gavin Williams, a lot of really good skilled players. The key for them will be quarterback position. If they get a good quarterback who can lead them, I think they could surprise some people. You are here, so we're going to have to get your predictions for each district. We'll start with the Beach District. Is it a two-team race between Ocean Lakes and Bayside? I want to say, yeah, I still like Ocean Lake. I mean, last year they won all their games on the field. They had a four for six because of an eligible player. I like their chances, but don't forget, Bayside's a defending district champion. You still got to give them respect as well. We'll see what happens, but you can't count out Ocean Lakes, and you also can't count out Lansdowne at Kempsville. They could surprise. Now, in the Eastern District, it's really been Lake Taylor's district for the last five seasons. Does that continue on this season? Just like Oscar Smith, until you beat them, they're still the team to beat. And I think right now they got a lot coming. They got uh, Darren Walton, who had over 2,400 all-purpose yards last year. Um, they got a very, very good team. And they also, they're just reloading every single year. That great middle school program, great JV program. I think they're the team to beat. But don't count out Maury, Norcom, and you can't count out uh, Churchland as well. And in the Southeastern, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. Oscar Smith. But they got in a couple tough scraps last right. year with Grassfield. Can right. that be a team to watch out for? Grassfield, I also like, I mean, because Grassfield has a very good quarterback coming back. But also don't count out Great Bridge. Um, Brad Hudson threw for over 2,000 yards last year, led that team, and he's got his best receiver coming back, a Mark Meyer. It could be a surprise, we'll see, but still is Oscar Smith. All right, Larry Rubam, you can catch him all year long right here on the Cox 11 Sports Report. Keep it here on the Sports Report Season Preview Show. When we come back, Jamie Frankenberry heads out to Oscar Smith to see how they prepare for life without Phil Sims. And that we needed to, uh, to find guys to replace and fill that role.